Let's do a little shake, shake, shake. Hi, welcome back. Today, I am going to be reviewing something, and those of you who have been following me know that I don't usually review a lot of products, and if I am going to review it, it's because I have used it and I love it, or I have done some research on it, and that's why I purchased it in the first place. So, that being said, that's exactly what I'm going to do today. I am going to review the new concept in cocktail shakers. So, if that's something you're interested in, whether you have a home bar, a home tiki bar, or if this is just something that makes sense to you, stay tuned because we're going to talk about Elevated Craft, and I am not sponsored by them. I purchased this myself, but I'm going to open it up and then we're going to try it out and see if it really does stand up to what I need and what they say it's capable of doing. Let's go review the Elevated Craft Cocktail Shaker. So this kit includes a very specialized twist-off cap, a midsection, which is more like the lid, and then the base of it. So for years, I have had the classic Boston Shaker, and that consists of two tins, but for me, I wound up not using it very often because, first of all, I have small hands and so it was a little more difficult for me to grip this. Also, once it, once you are shaking, it gets cold. It gets really cold. So I'm like, ah, I need an oven mitt to hold this shaker and that kind of ruins the whole vibe of shaking a cocktail, right? And then the third thing that is not my favorite thing about a Boston shaker is that uh, once you've shaken it and it's frozen, there is a trick to getting it open. And that trick, hopefully, you can do while your hands are frozen, while the, it, it's just, I, hats off to these bartenders that use a Boston shaker and just pop it open and pour the drink. Very impressive. So let's open the box. It comes in a really, Got a cool black box and when you very first open the box I see there is a nice little gift enclosed a little rubber coaster and on it it has the different ounces and it's in some nice paper and it definitely looks nice and sleek now I will say I own, a, I don't know, maybe three other cocktail shakers that are glass and they're beautiful, but they don't work very well. They're pretty, but if you really are into making a drink and you're shaking it, which is a figure eight, by the way, if you're shaking it, my other cocktail shakers, they leak. And the ones that have the cap on the top, it never pours properly. It always gets clogged up. So this has a really... It has an interesting cap, but it has inside the cap, and that, I would imagine, keeps it from leaking. Like I said, we're going to try this out and see if it really does. But when I twist it on, there's a little, like a little squeegee feel where it, it snugs down. So that's kind of nice. All right, so let's open it up and look. Oh, yes. So on the inside of the lid, not the little cap, but the lid, it's all marked. Basically could use this as your shot glass. If you don't want to use a regular shot glass, and for me, I usually will make two cocktails at once, and so it's nice to have something that goes up to two or four ounces. This is really nice, and it has a nicer seal around the edges. That's really nice. So inside is an extra basket like that a little elevated craft booklet. I'll have to look at that. Oh, and it gives you some information about washing and how to use it properly. A little thing to keep it dry. And just looking on the inside, you can see that it has the double walled interior. 
And that's the whole idea behind this, is that it's double walled and it keeps your hands from freezing. Like I said, we're gonna check this out and I'm going to shake up a drink and see if my little hands get frozen and how does it pour. All right, let's see how this thing works. And then I'll come back and tell you what I think. Okay, I decided to turn the air conditioner off, so we'll see how long <laughs> we'll see how long it takes until it gets really hot out here. I have the cap put back on the lid. I have the vessel, and by the way, the little booklet that came with it suggested using larger ice cubes instead of the small pebble ice. And that's fine because when I make my tiki cocktails, I usually fill the glass with the pebble ice. By the way, if you've never seen that video, I did buy a pebble ice machine about, well, about a year ago. And I talk about the pros and cons of the pebble ice and the different machines. So anyway, do I, I have my, my pebble ice right here. I did wash this, by the way. I took a moment to rinse it out. And I'm gonna keep it very simple because really the idea today is not so much to focus on the drink I'm making, but to see how this cocktail shaker really does work. And does it do what it says as far as mixing the drink properly and not freezing my hands? And will it pour nicely as well? Well, I'm going to make a very basic pina colada. Had a friend over this weekend and we had pina coladas. Her favorite, pineapple. Didn't know that whenever I said, hey, let's have pina coladas. So I'm not going to make a, a complex drink today because it's all about making the drink in this and shaking it up and seeing how well it shakes and does it freeze my little hands. So uh, for the basic pina colada, it's two. This is really nice having the measurements on the inside, really nice. It's two. I am using this. I usually use a coconut, actually a coconut milk from the um, Asian marketplace that we have here. And it's nice, but I didn't want to open up a whole can, so I'm just going to use this. I actually am going to use this. This is just something that, I don't know if you've ever tried. This is gum syrup, and this is in place of a sweetener. Now, I don't need to add a lot of this because it's already pretty sweet, but this adds a viscosity to any drink, and I just happen to have the pineapple one. I have a plain one inside, but here in the tiki bar, I have the pineapple, and I just use a dash of this. So just a little splash of that, and I keep it in my refrigerator. And then the other thing that I add to all of my tropical drinks is the Polynesian Kiss, which is a bitters. And it's not a classic bitter like you would put in a sidecar or an old fashioned. It's more along the tropical with the spices of the tropical. So just a couple of that. And I said I wasn't gonna get fancy, but you know, I got to make it a certain way, right, for it to taste good. And then last but not least, the alcohol. And those of you who are just getting into your tiki drinks and cocktails and things like that, the way I remember is that it's five. You have to have sweet, sour, savory, that's the bitters, ice, and alcohol. And then you have a good cocktail, as long as it's measured and all of that. So I am going to add some cut water dark rum to my pina coladas, and I think most pina colada recipes call for light rum, but I kind of like the dark rum. So we're going to add two ounces of that. You could go with an ounce and a half, but you know, two ounces is even better. So we're going to do that. And I'm going to pour that in, or in accordance to what the little directions told me, I am going to use a couple of larger to use a couple of larger. Now these aren't large. I have some in my ice molds in the house that are quite large. I have the big square ones and I have a couple of the large circles. But I am going to use these because what we're doing right now is we're chilling the drink. And then as I said, I will add the pebble ice to the glass itself. So I'm excited to try this. Who'd have thought, right? Let's do a little shake, shake, shake. I usually want to shake for 
three, four, five minutes, however long you can stand the, the coldness. I feel, I feel it getting slightly, like something's happening on the inside, but my hands are not cold. I'm short too. If I were taller, I could really be woo, doing this up in the air. <laughs> try to do the figure eight, which is out, in, back, out, in, back, right? If anything, the outside of it is warm from my hands because it's such a warm day. I feel that the top is cool, not cold. Oh, nice. Okay, let's put some ice in our glass. That's good enough, right? All right. Oh, I'm excited. Now, this twists off. Let's see how it pours. My hands are not cold at all, by the way. Poured out really nicely, really nicely. Now, if I were making this for my friends, I would be putting the, the straw, the umbrella, you know, the whole nine yards into it. Let's see how cold it is. The glass is cold. As I pick up the glass, the glass is definitely cold. Tastes good. It's cold, and of course, I can top it off with more of my kettle ice. You don't want to over dilute your cocktail, and so that's why you would not typically want to shake with a lot of crushed ice anyway. Oh, let's see. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Oh, and there are a few pieces of ice left. Can you see that? So, what started out at, you know, five pieces of half moon ice for my ice machine are about halfway down. So it really did chill it and I probably could have shaken it even longer. This is really nice being able to use the whole thing. It seals. My hands did not get cold and it opened up so nicely on the top. It's strained. It's nice and cold. Wow, I can't even tell you how many times I made cocktails using a flash blender just because my hands were so frozen with the shaker. So th this is a game changer for me. This, this is a game changer. Now, folks that make these, you need to make one with a tiki on the front. Then... I'll even buy another one. Oh, by the way, when I bought my Boston Shaker, I mentioned that I paid, I think, around $60 plus tax. And that's been probably 10 years ago or more. This one was $75. And because if you spend $100 bucks or $99, whatever it is, or more, you get free shipping, I added on a couple of little things. So I'll show you what I added on because they have a nice selection. And I've only had a couple sips, so don't think that I'm drunk or anything. I'm not. <laughs> This is a game changer. I love it. So just to reiterate, it does come with a little booklet and it talks about the measuring guide and it's in U.S. fluid ounces. And then they have some other products. This was something that I thought was super cute and I definitely will use it. And look how nicely packaged this is. And it's got their elevated craft on the top. Two, I'll call them cherry picks, cocktail picks, if you will but to go across the glass. Now I usually have umbrellas and big wedges of pineapple, but this would be very nice with a big wedge of pineapple and a cherry on it. And they're super cute. They have an octopus holding a shaker. This company, I, I don't have anything to do with them yet, but I'm going to contact them because I did buy all of this myself. This company really is onto something. They will just come up with a shaker with a tiki head on the side of it or Oh, maybe a mermaid or maybe um, you know a palm tree something like that at this point I'm not affiliated but if I become affiliated and I have some sort of a discount for you for sure I will include that in the description box below so don't miss out on that if you're watching this and it is maybe a month or so after I've actually filmed it then make sure you check the description box because I 
like this a lot. And as you know, I don't usually review things just haphazardly and I did not receive this in the mail and have them say, would you review it? This is all on me. And I just thought, I think I'm going to like this. So I hope you do too. That's it for me today. Enjoy your summer because it is heating up for sure. And I will see you next time. Thumbs up if you like this and maybe share it with someone if you know they are building their own in-home bar or they have their own tiki bar. Share this with them because I think this is a game changer. Take care. Bye-bye. There's a fly in here. We don't need that in our drink, right?